Okay guys, so we're gonna start off by prepping my skin. This is normally the routine that I do before I do my makeup almost every time. I added some Vaseline Lip Therapy, my favorite, and then next I'm going in with the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. Obsessed with this stuff, so, so good. It makes my foundation last longer and it just hydrates my skin, makes me look really glowy. Next I'm going in with the More Pacific Eye Cream and I'm just pressing that under my eyes and right after that i do take the lala whipped cream moisturizer from drunk elephant and i only apply it on my forehead um because my forehead is a little dry tends to like get patchy and stuff so this has really been helping me avoid that quickly i'm just setting my concealer on my eyes with a little bit of translucent powder and we're jumping into the jacqueline hill palette i'm grabbing that first shade right there and i'm just slightly blending that all over the crease I added a little bit and i'm just diffusing it a lot um i am getting ready for a dinner that i was going to yesterday um and yeah i just wanted to turn on the camera and film it so i'm just applying that first shade to my left eye and then i'm jumping into a similar shade just to give it a little bit more not a definition but kind of like a gradient because i am going to be just using three shades the next shade is the last shade that i'll be using in the palette and i'm just buffing that into my crease but little by little i start dragging it down all, all over the lid usually when i'm doing a matte smoky eye like this that it's just like all over um sometimes i used to use a flat brush to apply the color all over the lid but i've been doing it like this lately and i really really like how it's been coming out because it looks just it looks so gradient and so blended so i'm just applying it to my crease and little by little you'll see that i just get, go into the inner corner into the outer corner and then i'm gonna just diffuse it all over the lid So next I'm moving on to gel liner and I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Liner with a MAC 266. It took me so much effort to stay in frame but I think I did good. So I drag the line outwards and then I just connect from the tip all the way in like to the inner corner and I fill it in. I don't know if that makes any sense but here I'm just dragging it out and then I'm just dragging the line all the way back in and I'm filling it in. It won't come out perfect like with just the brush so next I grab the Sephora Collection High Precision Eyeliner in the shade black and I just perfect it. I perfect the tip like the little wing and I also perfect the lines so they're completely completely even. This is my technique. I've tried doing liquid liner and I just can't do it by, my, by itself. I have to use a gel before. So I just primed my face with the Urban Decay um, Optical Illusion Blur Primer, I think it's called. And then I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This was my first time using the foundation and I actually really, really liked it. Um, it does look a little yellow on camera, but that's like the, the color that matches my neck perfectly. Um, I am buffing it out with a Morphe G40 brush. And then right after that, I spray a little bit of my Mario Badescu Rose Water and I buff that in with a Beauty Blender just to make sure it's all seamless. Next, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shades Light Medium and Light Sand. I love this concealer. I just, this combination has been really been working for me. It's really, really highlighting and the concealer is obviously amazing as we all shall know. Here I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in the shade 30 and I'm just cream contouring my face all along the forehead. I also do add a little bit on the jawline and I also slightly slightly add some on the sides of my nose. My nose contour is not perfect, <laughs> I have to practice, but I just add a little bit there on the sides to give my nose a little bit of dimension and it kind of slims it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'll just be setting my under eyes and my entire face with the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. For under my eyes, I am using a Morphe E49. And for all over the face, I believe I'm using the Morphe E41. So for bronzer, I'm taking the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dolce. I love this stuff. It doesn't like, it doesn't look like too orange on the skin, if that makes any sense. It just gives you a really, really nice bronze look. So I really like that bronzer. And then next, I'm moving on to these next two shades. And I'm just, um, those are actually the two shades that I first started off with when I started on my eyes. And I'm just buffing that in my lower lash line. And then I take the second shade in the palette. And I'm just using that shade to highlight my inner corner. And right after that, I jump into highlight. And for highlight, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter in the shade 02, of course. Um, I love this stuff. But today, I actually went in with the Artist Couture um, Highlighter in the shade Illuminati. And I kind of used it as a topper for on top of the Makeup Forever Highlighter. And wow, the pigment is intense. I mean, look at that. It looks so good. I loved it. Um, right after this highlighter, I do set my face with the Milani Mix and Fix Setting Spray. This setting spray is so good. It really reminds me of the MAC um, Fix Plus. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the packaging or what, but it looks... It makes my makeup look good. That's all that matters. So for lips, I'm taking the Nude Sticks um, Lip Pencil in the shade Whisper. And I'm defining my lips with the Curvy Lip Liner. And I top it off with the Curvy Lip Gloss. And yeah, that completes the look. If you guys would like to see what I wore, like my full outfit, I do have it in my Instagram. And my Instagram is linked in my description box. But yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.